Hi guys. Let me shut everything off. Okay, there's everything off. I'll probably still get notifications from everything because I didn't shut it off. So, how are you guys doing? I'm going to kind of talk a little bit just so that waiting for everybody to get online. Um, for those that you can today, so we're going to talk about trying to encourage you to not try. No, I'm here to encourage you to not give up. But the same note to surrender to the past parts of you so that you can actually live versus exist. So this is a really big deal right now. Um, hi, I see three people around, but I cannot see yet who they are. So let Facebook kind of ante up and I'll be able to say hello to you when that happens. Um, for those that you can read me, <laughs> I look very tired. <laughs> Uh, and I am. I almost postponed this to tomorrow, so I'd be better state for you guys. But um, spirit told me, "No, come on," because you need to see that even I have really hard days, just like you. Um, so, back about in March, I uh, I fell down. I was chasing my grandson through the house, and he tripped, and I was moving it over him with my right leg, which clipped his body, which sent my right left leg forward and I landed right on the knee and I have been dealing with leg pain for this whole time and it's actually getting worse yes I do have an appointment now to get it checked I think I have fractured my tibia um, and I've been walking on it this whole time don't follow my example <laughs> so um, I don't know why I'm starting to see some people coming on oh there's Eva I see you I love you little hearts good to see you so glad you're here and I see somebody else is on. Who are you? Oh, hi, Tommy. So glad you came on. So anyway, so I'm really tired because last night was, um, sorry, I got these bloody interruptions. Um, I need to learn how to, I just got a new phone, so I'm still trying to figure out what exactly, how to shut what off when where. So thank you, Tommy. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it, it, it hurts. It's wrapped up right now, and I'm trying to just stay off of it. And yeah, we, everybody knows when you say, oh, I'm going to stay off my leg. I, you know, I know if it, if, it is, if it is fractured, they're going to put like a wrap from the middle of my thigh all the way down to my ankle, and I'm not going to be a weight-bearing for six weeks. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that part. But anyways, let's get a move on. So um, I'm waiting for John to get on here. Hopefully he'll come on soon because he was part of my... my uh, my reason for talking. So we are going through a real big time. This basic is supposed to be for light workers, but however, if you feel drawn to energy or just want a new information, congratulations. You're welcome here. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you, Tommy. Um, so let's see here. So the time that we are in is really, really big. It's really exciting for the individual, for the soul, for us to really relinquish our carbon-based body. And of course, I don't mean that physically and literally. Hi, Eva. But I mean actually to relinquish our thoughts of who we are as a human being and really allow ourselves to ride the waves, surrender to riding the waves of who we truly are within ourselves within our soul being, with what our soul is coming here to be. Um, there's Eva, there's John. All right, people are coming on. I guess it was hard to find me today. So, but anyways, so, so I'm gonna pause and kind of look elsewhere because I'm really trying my best to stay connected so I can give this information to you. So our energy that makes up our carbon-based body is falling apart just like the third dimension that you see out there in the world it's falling apart hi john um and oh hi richard and the more we kind of look at that we might get freaked out we might feel really sad we might find ourselves crying for no reasons we might find ourselves angry frustrated just kind of out of sorts not really know what to do so first step John, you're not going to believe this. So 
flipping yellow butterfly. <laughs> John and I are working together and he's manifesting yellow butterflies. And every time we talk, yellow butterflies appear. Anyways, so as you start to feel these feelings, first of all, you're going to probably feel like that you want to nurture yourself, right? And with our culture, at least here in the United States, we generally nurture ourselves with homemade chocolate chip cookies, uh, French fries. Um, I mean, name to you, what year is your like soul food? What kind of really brings you, you know, some really yummy that make that used to make you feel really good, right? And, but you're going to find that if you go to those same foods, such as chocolate chips or French fries, hi, Monica, that, hi, Renee, we're talking about letting go. Hmm. What would I say earlier? encouraging you not to get up but letting go of what is leaving us so anyway so when we go through all those emotional feelings and feeling really crappy that we want to like i said want to go for the french fries or go for the chocolate chips but if you do go there you're going to find afterwards Ugh, i feel like crap right so it didn't really nourish you but then you got to look at why well because those are really dense low energy foods and so you need to find different foods that are higher vibrational so there, if you're like a sweet tooth, find some fruits. I mean, there's a lot of vet, um, recipes you can put together of raw fruits. Um, we make one with dates and pecans and put fresh nectarines on top. It is really, really yummy. And we're learning now that is nourishing us as well. Or do something completely different. Take walks in the woods. Take a nice bath, salt bath. Um, you know, listen to some music that you love that just kind of soothes your soul. Um, dance you know just turn on some music and just blare it and just dance find higher vibrational things that will go ahead and soothe you but by all means don't give up i yesterday what kind of inspired this was a couple things um i was on a, with a client with john two two days ago i think it was and we talked about we're going to talk about with the ladder thing but with yesterday i was talking with a woman and she said to me i am littered my whole body has osteoporosis and there's nothing anything can anybody can do and I'm not interested in any type of fairy tales hi Ricardo and I thought to myself holy cow that crushed me that was so sad to hear someone just giving up right but I mean for her it's a physical ailment but for you or for other people it might be a mental emotional social you know ailment that seems to feel like it's crushing our very being and like that's it I'm just exhausted and I just give up so there's a difference between giving up hey Tony there's a difference between giving up and surrendering big difference one you actually empower yourself the other you don't giving up you are not empowering yourself giving up means you're no longer putting your focus your energy you you're not you're, you're giving into you're giving your energy to whatever your ailment may be hi Karina good to have you on here you're giving your energy to that particular thing so for instance if it is you know something going on um, via the government oh my gosh you know that's happening and you're giving all your energy there I just nothing I can do I'm giving up you are completely powerless and I'm saying don't don't, don't, don't. There's more to you than just this physical body. This physical body is like this compared to the spiritual body. It is huge energy full of power. But when you surrender, you're actually giving, not giving, you're connecting to a greater power. So hypothetically, not hypothetically, when you surrender to your higher self, when you surrender to your soul, your over soul, your God, your creator, whatever it may be that you believe in the universe, whenever you're surrendering to, you're now connecting to that. And the reason you're surrendering, because you're saying what? I don't like what I'm feeling. I don't want to look at it anymore. I don't want anything to do with it, but I want it to be better. So I'm surrendering to my higher greatest source self okay there now you get energy back and you're being empowered and it feels good just to let go and as you'll saying go is let go let god but it's really good to just let go and let the universe take it and just give you that respite a feeling of relaxation hi ricardo good yeah that's true thank you um 
But also, what I want to encourage you, we are going through these huge, it's really hot here in Santa Barbara, it's like 95. Um, so we are going through these humongous changes with our physical body. And we are also moving into other energetic bodies. We're obtaining more and more and more higher frequencies. Whether you're focusing on it or not, you are raising in vibration. So I was working with John the other day and he's like, but where is it going? What am I doing? What am I turning into? And John already gave me permission to use him as in, in my talk today. And I said, you don't ask questions. Don't put it into the mind. Don't put it into the ego of trying to figure it out because in figure it out, you're encapsulating again back into that box. And that box is strictly the third dimension of what we're used to growing up in this world the programs that we're used to following. So really work on not trying to figure out what's going on with, with you, riding the waves, surrendering to the waves, right? And also letting go of the old you, the old way that you used to feel, of the old programs that you used to follow, of the old reactions that you used to have, of the old responses you used to have really work on sitting back and observing the world being a witness to it hmm that's an interesting conversation that my friend's having you know that he she or he wants to have with me hmm i'm not going to react i'm not going to respond i'm just going to sit back and listen how do i feel with that do i feel really good like mm, this is a cool conversation i like how where this is going or I don't really want to talk about my neighbor and their second cousin and what happened to their house the other day or whatever, right? And so you might therefore choose to change the subject or disengage or say, you know what, have a great day, I gotta go, what have you. But if the conversation feels good, then okay, what does us feel good about it? I like the energy. Do I like the topic? Really start asking your questions. And then as the conversation flows, really again, still be, you're not out here with the conversation, right? You're in here with the conversation. I mean, yeah, you're conversing, but your thought pattern is in here consistently using your emotions as how you are going to move forward with anything, with that conversation, with life, with your job, with politics, with whether you're healthy or not healthy, how your body feels, what have you. Learn to listen to yourself. How is you feel? Use your feeling as your barometer. Let go of the old you. Let it go. So try to give you an example because being a little more personal really helps everybody understand a little bit better. Um, Old me is very, very logical. Old me, can, I can explain anything scientifically when it comes to the body and the health, top to bottom. But usually it wears people out, right? It really takes a lot of energy because they don't understand it. Um, and so, but what I'm learning to do now is letting that go and letting spirit talk through me. And that's just me being available, being an allowance, allowing myself just to be here and to speak. Um... So the thing is, is something came across to me yesterday in my health group. And if you guys want to be part of that part of my health group, if you're not there, let me know. It is um, a really great place for getting support on all levels. Yes, we do offer and, and endorse certain products because we've done the work. We've done the homework. But in there was a beautiful... Um, was a beautiful video that I shared. And point, which is, hi, Steve. Hi, Diane. So in that video made a very valid point, which was, are you ready to live versus exist? And a lot of us have just been existing, especially since this lockdown has occurred because nothing is the same, right? And we can't gauge our lives the same way as it used to be. I mean, when it was last week, um, two things happened. One, it was like, oh my God, school's starting next week. What? And then secondly, on my Facebook feed came, oh, look, my favorite time of the year, fall. And I'm like, fall? What? 
I'm still in freaking March, right? Because life just seemed to have come to a halt. It didn't go any further, right? Because we still want to feel the spring and we still want to feel going to the beach in the fall and going to barbecues with friends because those things we gauge with linear time. And I'm just now hearing from spirit. Linear time is breaking down. Hi, D. Linear time is breaking down. And so that's why we're just in this state of now. We're all learning the state of now. And, you know, it's going to take all of us a little bit to learn it if you're in the third dimensional body ego. But the more again you let go and ride those waves, as John said, of awakening and feeling those higher vibrations. God, right, guys, right now the energy is unreal. Um, as I said before, ancients are coming down. Hi, Don. Hi, Christy. Ancients are coming down into this planet and they're here. They're here. I mean, I have people working with so many different energies. It's, it's amazing and it's unbelievable. It's like put your finger in a light socket. It's unreal. And it's quite amazing. Sorry, I got so many things swapping here in front of me. And the CD said right on target yet again. Much love and appreciation. Oh, D, I'm so glad you're here. So it's time for us to come alive versus just existing. I mean, even prior to this pandemic or this isolation, whatever you want to call it, it still was just existing, right? We still had to chop wood, carry water, pay bills, and, you know, wake up the next day. Some of us got on top of our mindset and we were able to do traveling and all that grand stuff, but it was still chop wood, carry water, but it's time to really live. So my message today, hi, Leslie, my message today was just really, really simple, really, really short which was don't give up guys whatever you do you might feel like you're distraught you might feel like it's into the rope but don't give up relax and instead surrender to your highest good surrender to the universe surrender to god surrender to whatever your creator may be and say i need this ask for help help will not come unless you ask ask for help i need help for da 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 da, da. say it three times all right just before this video, I, my head was pounding, I'm tired, you know, had a bad night, like I said last night, because I probably fractured my tibia. But I said, you know, come on, I know that I'm supposed to be doing this, talk through me. And right now my headache doesn't hurt, right? I asked for help. So ask for help. Don't give up, but surrender. Surrendering, we think that when we surrender, we're giving up our power. We're not. Because we're led to believe that because of the physical aspect, right? Because in the past when everybody has a war, right? Oh, I surrender. Oh, that means we defeated you. Surrendering in the energetic sense means opening yourself to way more energy, to way more power that's going to be coming through. You're saying to the universe, I am ready for more empowerment. I am ready for more, more, more. I am ready. I'm ready now. I'm ready to live. I don't want existing more. I want to live. I'm going to surrender this crap to you. I'm going to surrender all that. I don't want any of this. I don't want to deal with my past programs. I don't want to deal with this propaganda that's being played out before us in our world. I don't want anything to do with that. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Um, and also definitely surrender your past states of being. Um, I can't give you an example there because I do it all the time. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, so that you can actually live and exist. So I hope that was helpful for today. We are definitely going through a wonderful, humongous shift opening. Uh, been so pretty much this whole month, especially started last week. It was a really big opening. Um, and let's see here. I'm going to kind of read some notes here. What everybody said, um, John says they are here. It is beautiful. Yes. John is working with some ancient energy and beautiful, fantastic, full love and energy. Um, Pure light, pure love, pure joy. Ricardo, yep. Gotten get some oh, chill out. I thought you may got chills. Leslie's ha. Ah, thank you, Leslie. I really appreciate it. Um so does anybody have any questions? Or do you want to share anything that you've been moving through? I'd really like to go ahead and know about that. So while I'm waiting for anybody to say something. Um so my particular client, John. Um, has been going through some humongous openings and realizing and seeing things and he's being actually talked to. He's probably going to become a channel real soon. 
So we can all look forward to that wonderful information coming through. Um, this morning, I actually, it was really interesting just before I kind of, you know, you woke up and you're like, oh, but I just don't want to stay asleep. I literally heard a whisper in my ear, which was really sweet. That said, we're really sorry we took your father from you because my, my dad, dad passed away in 2010, but my stepdad, whom I was closer to, passed away in 2011. And it was just really interesting that that was whispered in my ear. I don't know what that means, but. Ricardo, did you have a question or you want to talk about anything? Ugh, it's so hot here. So if it's hot here in California, that means this heat wave is going to be running across the country. I'm really sorry, guys, because we rarely get this hot. So anyways, I love you guys. Hang in there. Breathe. Relax. Shut off the TV. Shut off the news media. Shut off any media. Feel you. Who are you? Feel you. Feel you. Think about an energy of light coming through the top of your head like a shaft going down your head all the way through your body to your tailbone. And just feel it and then see it and feel it echoing out. Just like going through your whole body, through every cell. Just feel it. Allow yourself to just be it and relax. Put on some good soft music. Not, I want ambient music, not word music, because word music makes your brain start moving with the words. Just ambient music. Um, on YouTube, there's a whole bunch of Hertz music that's really um, supportive. You can look that up. Get involved with nature. Go for walks. Move your body. Get some sunshine without sunscreen. Yes, without sunscreen, that way your body can actually make the vitamin D to actually fight skin cancer. I'm not saying forever, I'm saying like seven minutes. Drink water, move your body, eat healthy. Hi, Helene. You know, try to try to get as many live foods as you can in your body. And I'm talking about live vegetables, live fruit. Of course, if you are limited due to health issues, of course, take those into consideration. But, and work on meditating, guys, meditating. It does work, it does help. John actually in many areas has, has exceeded me because he meditates so often, more so than I'm able to do so. So it really works. So I love you guys. Mwah. Thank you so much for your well wishes. Um, I'll know more about my knee. Um, not this Monday, but probably next Monday because I'll get an x-ray then. And other than that, I bless you all. And let's work on living versus just existing. Love you guys. Bye-bye.